How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. I was just thinking about it. I believe in Linux, there's kind of a, a golden point, I'd say, of using Linux where it basically becomes like natural, really natural, where it's no longer taking up any part of your mind. And that's where I'd say like I've been at for a while. That's why you might've noticed like I don't really make as many Linux videos is because one, it's like not something that's like burning in my mind as much as, much as it used to. But I feel like I've kind of achieved everything I've wanted to achieve in Linux. Like I've done like, okay, let's think about it like this in windows. I don't know about you guys, but I like, sometimes I'd like change the wallpaper. Like maybe I'd move around things, but I kind of had like the same setup for like multiple years. It like, obviously like I'd play around and stuff, but eventually when I got like that setup that I just like, and it just works for me and I just don't have to think about it. After that, like I didn't change my setup for at least like three, four years, something like that. Probably even more. But, yeah, probably like five, five years, something like that. Genuinely, the only thing I change is like maybe the wallpaper every now and then. And I feel like in Linux, I've kind of achieved this point already. And you might have noticed in my videos, like if I show you my setup right now, is that I've had the exact same looking setup forever. <laughs> like just like the calendar in the middle, you know, like it's just like it's still DWM and everything. Date. That's it. Like I haven't even changed the wallpaper in a while. Like I could. Like, it's not hard or anything. Just like, I don't know. Like, I just really like this wallpaper, like the church and stuff. So, so I would say this is, no, it depends. If you're very genuinely interested in Linux and finding out, and then like, I don't know, you just like toying around and stuff, then fine, go for it. It's just like, for me, there's been certain things that I just like, I prioritize more. Like, I prioritize being able to work without having to like worry about like whether it's like, up, like I barely update my computer. I barely, barely install, I, like, I don't install anything. I literally just use the web browser, like, honestly. To be fair, like, Linux, I don't even really need it that much. Like, it's, I just use the web browser for, like, basically everything I do. But honestly, that's just, like, the state that I'm at. And I'd say if you want to achieve that state, you want to get to that state, like, maybe you're, like, hopping around and stuff, but it's just, like, everything feels like shit. It's like, ah, oh, the KDE is trash, this is trash, that's trash. I think the thing that I'd recommend is just think about the use case you have. What are you trying to do? And what's like something that you're actually trying to like look for? Are you just like, like, don't be just jumping into like some new desktop environment or window manager. Just ah, I'll see how it is. Just genuinely think about like, what is it that you're looking for and find how, which one is like closest to that. So for me, I guess simplicity was definitely something I was looking for. Simplicity, basic minimalist alongside that, like ideally like not super resource heavy it's like i've got a decent computer but like if i could have more like resources to do other stuff that would be cool and yeah honestly like i wouldn't say like i had too many like needs just not bloated i think that's the main thing i had and when i found out about dwm which is the desktop environment or should i say the window manager that i use it was it was like oh okay well this is like everything that i was looking for so it was just like very natural it was just like learning how to use it. It's a bit how you're going in that aspect. Like it's a bit, a bit more complicated than your average desktop environment, something like that. But overall, once you finally get used to it and you customize it and you get like a nice color scheme and whatever, then it's pretty chill. It's pretty lax, to be honest. I'd also recommend like, if you can try and get a color scheme that just happens to match like any wallpaper, that's what I have here. I'd say like I achieved this, like this is the perfect, what is this? I achieved like, I feel like the perfect color scheme where like, look, it matches with this. But if I go to like, I don't know, colorful, it's still like, it still matches. Like, I, like, I don't know. Like, I really just like the color scheme I came up with. Um, it goes obviously anything with yellow, but like, let's say what's Samurai. I can't remember. It goes with it. Like, I feel like it goes with everything. Like, honestly. So yeah, no, like that's what I'd say. That's what I'd say. Try and pick a color scheme that goes with everything. And you're not going to be worrying about like, let's say if I had like a red, color scheme like red bar and all this and that then obviously that's only going to look good with like red wallpapers but like if you have like a green wallpaper or like something that like goes against like red then it won't look as good so if you have a more universal color scheme you just you have to do less you know what i mean or you could also get like something where it like changes each time for the color scheme it's up to you it's up to you but then there's just something else that you have to like worry about like installing and all that kind of stuff but at the end of the day if you think about it Linux is meant to be a free operating system. It's meant to be, you know, completely open. And when we think about operating systems, like 
before you probably learned about Linux, you probably only knew about like Windows and macOS. Even then you didn't really think like, oh, you just thought like macOS was like the prettier looking one, but then there's like some stipulations included with that. And Windows is just like, well, if you want to do like any sort of work. Now, you weren't obsessed about Windows, I'm guessing, or Mac. Like you just like had it and it worked and you just did what you needed to do. And I feel like Linux, I don't know they should be treated in a similar manner. Sure, you like, you can customize it to however you want. So go for it, like genuinely go for a setup that you really like. But at a certain point, like in my opinion, in my philosophy, you should like not like stop, like unless like, you know, you can change it every now and then. But I'd say it's better just like have one setup and just like make sure it works and that's it. That's why like, I kind of like, I even use like programs that maybe are like not as like, how can I say like minimalist? Let's say like OBS, OBS is not a minimalist program, but it just works. It like, I never have to worry about audio. I can check the audio. I can check the desktop audio. Like everything works on it. Whereas if I'm using like FFmpeg to record the screen, it's a bit more how you're going. And then if I want to do something specific and like change this to like, it's just a headache. It's just like, I, it's the problem with like too much minimalism. It becomes hard to use. That's the other thing. So you got to find that compromise. And OBS, I think is just a very good compromise with like anything that I'd ever want to do. I can do it very simply. Whereas if I wanted to do something like suddenly, like let's say I wanted to start streaming on FFmpeg, it's like it's possible but it's just like such a headache it would take way too long whereas it genuinely would take me like if i didn't have it already set up it would take me like 10 minutes to set it up on obs but because i have it set up just it would literally take me like two seconds so that's what i'd say i'd say like you know if you're still in the early stages of linux just keep trying keep trying to find that perfect setup and but like again like just think about it like don't just like jump into every setup that you like think looks cool and also it's going to sound like a bit counterintuitive the less you browse Unix porn and like just looking at like Linux setups and just like watching like a lot of Linux videos, like showing off Linux like desktops and stuff, the probably less you're going to be worried about like the perfect setup because you're going to realize like it all, like it's, it's all good. Like all of the, all the setups are good. It's just like how used to you are, how, how much you're used to it. Cause at the end of the day, it's just like, oh, it's a different button or this or that, or like you got to go to this area instead of that area, but all that, that's all it is really. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, helps me out. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.